Howdy gamers. We got a little bit more of Echoes of Wisdom to finish up tonight, so we're gonna be doing that. I gotta go find Twink in the woods. And then uh, we'll go beat up Null, I guess. I heard banging. I don't know what that's about. Oh, we fought you before. Don't need to deal with you. I will, though, because you're in the path. Go the ball. Damn, whatever, fine. <laughs> Distraction, I'm out. Uh, fuck it, I'm probably just gonna go Link mode, though. <laughs> yeah, I can just fucking brute force things at this point. <laughs> Big tough guy. Level 5. I guess you're officially our toughest warrior. Um... So I have a Lionel, for whatever good that does me. You can escort me if you want to. Uh, we probably have to go back to that tablet. Because I don't know... Oh yeah, here. There's a bunch of dudes. And then we still have these brassiers to light somehow. Oh. Zelda. I've said before, he reminds me of Basil, right? That's such a Basil noise. <sighs> Demonstrate the power of echoes, improve your wisdom. That's rather vague. I'm going to need more instructions. Okay. Ball echo. So, place... Place all of the balls. So there's another six, another five. I guess they aren't assuming that I have six, which is good of them to not assume. I don't remember where all exactly we've seen them. I just know that they're around. Uh, if they're cool, they would be kind of in a pattern that matches the triangles. But I don't know if we can count on that. Anyway, here's one of them. Which, presuming I have to leave these in, is gonna limit me, right? Because then I can only cast one thing uh, in addition to these. But really, I'm probably just gonna try to zip through. If we're following the thought that they follow... Oh! There's one of you in the pot, sure. Yeah, so I think they're in some kind of configuration resembling that. What do I have on for accessories? I do have my damage reduced. Okay. Yeah, I did the little uh, sleepy challenge thing, so I got more energy reduction, which is good. Uh, and then I got a few more potions set up to help me as needed against whatever final boss or bosses they toss at us. Even though I probably would have been fine, it's good to be prepared, right? I might as well. Yep. I 
kind of miss... It, it's hard to beat the classic Lost Woods music, but this is a very good vibe and ambiance as well. That's too far over now. Ah, there we go. All the balls we could ever need. Are you satisfied? Oh wow, look at that. First Triforce mention. Visually, at least. Why? You're not worthy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then again, I'd be curious to see what happens if they go anyway. Uh, if Twilight Princess is to be believed with the Dark Interlopers and stuff, bad things. They'd get turned into... Twilly, right? That's what happened? The Dark Interlopers were, like, cursed by the goddesses or whatever? And there were good theories that that was, like, the tribe that made Majora's Mask or something. Like, that's what we need instead of them BSing a timeline is, like, cool... Oh, good, now this actually has a map. Uh, cool, like, meaningful, in-depth connections between games and shit like that. There's the Deku Tree and the pedestal where the Master Sword would be if we had one. Is the dungeon going to be inside the Deku Tree, or are we going in the Sacred Realm? Or just underground? I don't know. Inside the Deku Tree would be kind of fun, because that was the first dungeon in Ocarina of Time. And now it would be like, the last, almost. This must not be terribly long if we're not getting a map. This whole copy thing that Null has is pretty fucking strong if it can copy, like, you know, the goddess power and shit that we've attained. Oh, there's just the whole ass Triforce! But I guess this is the final check, then, and the Triforce. Uh, let's have a nap. Wrong echo. And wrong button. I don't know if the time the term prime energy has ever been used before this game. I don't recognize it. And whatever happened to the goddesses, the thing in Ocarina, they say ambiguously that they just, like, left. Right? I don't know. Planes of reality get confusing.
Why did Null get one? <laughs> Just in place of Ganon, I guess? <laughs> hey, Guardian, yeah, sorry, I ghosted you in the woods. Welcome. How's it going? That isn't coming through, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> Either something with my scene is messed up or something with the, the system is messed up. All right, who doesn't want a twink in the woods? Classic American pastime. That must be no. I wonder if this is even a dungeon then. This looks just kind of like a rift sands the dungeon. A mere blue energy. Hi Riku, we're very close to winning, I think. We may or may not be in the very final area of the game. Alright, I want to see how Lionel performs. Pretty good. Zelda's become a stand user? Yeah. Stand user, Pokemon trainer, something like that. Oh, I didn't even need to go up there. Silly me. Why, why does enemies touching my water kill my water? It looks like there's just multiple pathways. I'm assuming I don't actually need to do any of this once I've gotten past it, but I want to make sure I'm not leaving any goodies on the table. Even though it's literally the end of the game and I don't need goodies. Ooh, we do need warp points though. That's worth getting. I hate these ice guys now. One of the challenges involved, like, killing them with nothing but torches. That was a little bit of a pain in the butt. Fuck. There could be a twink! 
I would be very sad if we missed a twink. All right, Wizzy, help me out here. And Wizzy, help me out here again. I guess fire isn't so good when they're in water. I don't know how much damage the actual fire does, but enough that it's noticeable. Ooh. That's gonna be a problem. I need depth perception here. Okay, there we go. Uh, the tile. Lionel, get him! Your sword is so big and fat and throbbing and veiny that you can get them uh, no problem, even though they're electric. And there's a lot of fucking areas around here. Oh, let's grab that, because then if I go back, we can come back. I do, at a minimum, want to do my diligence and uh, check all the fog of war. Even if I don't really need most of it. Okay, that counts. How much damage have I racked up? Not a lot. We can still wait. Not nappy time just yet. There's the twink. Hermetically sealed in a magical crystal. Like buying an action figure. You gotta keep him in mint condition. Okay, if you're gonna fly, we need Wizzy for this. And I should, for now at least, take off my jumpy boots and put on more energy spawning. How did I know that we'd get, like, an evil off-key Zelda's lullaby for this? Oh, Fucking ice boys, go away. No! Wizzy! Wizzy, help. Oh my god, double kill. You're so amazing, Wizzy. Ooh. 
Good job again. Ah, I wish I couldn't target my own enemies. Uh, unless there was like a contextual reason why I'd want to. Because it's a little bit annoying. Like, obviously I don't want to shoot arrows at my own summon. Because that makes no sense. Give me that Triforce. He's free, he's out, it's Pride Month. Yeah, Ganon's just fucked in this timeline, no one cares about Ganon. Um, I don't think so. Those are my weapons now. What am I supposed to do if I give him that? That's going to really eat into my overpowering the final boss strategy. I'm going to have to actually use Echoes. Let me take a nap and think about it. I don't know. Maybe I'll get cool goddess powers instead like in Smash Bros. I'd take a guardian. Give me a guardian echo. I'll summon one of those. And then you can fight for me. That was my preferred character in uh, Age of Calamity. Shut up, Try. Why are you making this upsetting? He doesn't need to be rearmed. He already has two of them. I'm excited about what could be inside, though. This could be really cool, like Majora's Moon. Probably not as cool as that. No, okay, it's just generic and dark. Whatever. I mean, I still like a Vore dungeon, and this is more or less a Vore dungeon. To be technically three, three what? You twink, come back here. Still no dungeon map. I love how squishy it is. I, can you just like follow me? We don't need to do this whole walk and stop thing. You're gonna make this feel like a fetch quest. Ugh. Lionel Richie, get him! What is my best one triangle echo that I can use in addition to him? We could do a spear moblin. We could do a rope. Peace, Dragonfly, Octorok. I could just, yeah, I could just do a Sea Urchin. Pick up and throw those or just cast them right on top of stuff. I might do that. Let me grab one and try it. Oh, can I not actually pick him up? Well, that's not quite as good then. Uh, I should have 
He's somewhat recently. I'll try a Gini. Why are you one-shotting my Lionel? What the fuck? Without any of my good link items. Bye. I specifically got a couple potions just for energy. Okay, Gini. Oops, I fell. Gini, could you go get that? Could you go through the wall and get that for me? Good lad. I kind of feel like that's the whole reason we got a Lionel right at the end of the game. Like, this is because they took away your Link stuff, and so they're like, alright, we'll just give him, like, the biggest, baddest, smashingest furry that we can. Ah, uh, now I'm wishing I had my froggy shoes. I don't want to go out that way, do I? This is yours, or you're asking my favorite dungeon? I ended up really liking the forest one, because it was non-linear enough that I felt like I was actually using my brain. Um, I can see how this one could be cool. Oh, yeah, let's use a flying enemy, I guess. Asking you? Yeah, the, uh, the, like, the Deku one in the wetlands. I keep thinking I have a piece somewhere. I don't know that the dungeons themselves were, like, especially memorable in this game for me. Um... It was just, like, the sandbox in general was really solid. Just beat Hyrule Castle. Have you like already watched other people play this? I don't want you to spoil yourself. But that's not really my decision to make, so you do you, I guess. How are we gonna help you out, Link? I guess I need to make a boulder. This is like a thing with my sister, where uh, she's so not bothered by spoilers and like containing every, but it, you know, like like having the cinematic universe version of everything and stuff like that. Uh, so I have to just like let go of how my 
own preferences are and be like, okay, that's fine. That's not how I would do it, but you're your own person, so I'll just let you live. Maybe I should make a bed. Twink, get on your bed. That didn't work. Twinkus, it's bedtime. Oh, you gotta stay on it, Link. Maybe I don't want to do a bed. Oh, but you'll get on that. I can't exactly send it over that far, little dude. He's making this very complicated and he doesn't need to. What if I do it too tall, but then I can't move them, right? Oh no, I can, okay. Ah. But he's too heavy. Fuck. Well, I can walk it up a little bit further, but it's not actually rising with me. Shit. Where's Watcher? I need help figuring this out. Um, he's not gonna be smart enough to swim in a water block, nor do I think I could properly cast that. No, he literally pops it. Okay, let's revisit all my echoes. We could cast a plant that would be taller. We could cast trampolines. I don't think enemies are gonna help. If Link was a bear, the whole world would cry. We just don't have anything that goes up and down. I completely understand what we need to do, I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get you up there, little buddy. Spider, spider could move me up, but he can't attach to the spider. Um, I don't know if you're thinking of the climbing one or the one with the thread, but the thread, I don't think works in 3D. Oh, okay. How did I not know that the whole game? Um, he's stupid though. He's not using that. Then climb that shit. Climb that, that's so easy. I've given you the solution, you fucker. Whatever. That works for me, it doesn't work for him, apparently. It's... I have to build him... a climbing setup. The question is just how we're gonna make that happen. Yep. I still have the spider out. Didn't I grab the tree? You're almost there, you dummy. 
Okay. So do I need more trees and then like a step stool? Let's start this over. Let's start this near me so I can actually do it and then we'll like put it in place. I could just cast a trampoline on top of this. Okay, that could work. We do one regular tree, and then uh, a rock like before. You stupid twink. You're good, go up there. I've literally done everything for you, Link. Like what, do we need two levels of climbing shit? Oh my god. Alright, let's start over again. I don't- maybe the trampoline in specific is making him weird, but I'm assuming that's just not good enough for him. So... Maybe it bar off? I'm not sure what you mean by that. If you're saying, like, something's just a little bit off somehow, yes, that's very possible. So this seems very imprecise. There. I just needed a whole step instead of a half step. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that his jumping is much better than mine. But, ooh, finally. All right, is that the final room? Shall I take a quick nappy? Not quite there yet. I swear to God, game designers. You've you've had me, you made a very good game. I've been happy, I've not been complaining, but if you keep doing this little stop and nod thing, I'm gonna get fussy. Maybe this is the final. Or like the antechamber to the final. Because we're hearing his heart thumpity thumping. Please first, I guess. Damn, poor Deku Tree. Poor cow. Moblins, I do not care.
Uh, actually, you only understand a third of the prime energy, Dingus. He sounds very wet, and he almost looks like a jellyfish behind that fog. Oh, he's like an evil try. That's interesting, but I was kind of hoping for a big scary monster. And this ain't it. You instantly kill my Lionel. I'll take that heart, don't mind if I do. I lost it immediately. The fibrous bits make it feel a bit like a jellyfish. I was also thinking of like um, Majora's forms in the final boss battle of that. He might change forms partway through this too, which would be good. That would be ideal. Link, you're just pathing into the wall, you're dumb. I should try to position myself so that his attacks don't just go right through my summons. It looks like patterned holes are forming in his body. I got too close to the goop. I just wanted that heart. At least they stay around for a while. I don't have to be that fussy about getting them. Stop dying instantly. I need you. Might actually be time to switch to Wizzy. Since, uh, poison on the floor is not going to be good for Lionel.
But you gotta, like, hit your shots, dude. I think maybe we stick with Lionel, but we just try to cast around the swamps. Yeah, he's losing whatever form he has, and then all that's left is his little gaping void hole. Ayome, welcome. Yeah, no, okay, I thought I recognized Ayome as like a spam name, so never mind. Goodbye, bot. I'm glad Sari's still catching them, but it's annoying that they get through it all. Why do you have, like, the good tries in your bloodstream? Definitely looking real jellyfish now. Um, Sharky, get him. And I will put on some diving gear. Don't you dare summon like a whole ass boss as a minion. I can't tell what kind of progress we're making, if any, as we're attacking his little balls. I think we're trying to eat away at the shell, but it looks like he's still regenerating it. So maybe part of this is just surviving this section. Okay, yep. We're getting dub. Trying to grow a real body. Okay, see, this is cooler now. We're still having the elements of try, but it's more final boss feeling. I still find this supremely awkward though that I have to like just stand back and do nothing now. For bosses, we've been accustomed to using Link Mode the whole game. This also feels quite a bit like Nightmare from Link's Awakening, because he's just copying other bosses now. Not that the Zelda series is the only series to do that either, that's a pretty common concept.
I don't even know if we should be hitting the arms. It seems like hitting the body works well enough. Okay, losing more shell. Good. I can see the Triforce within. Don't grab me, don't grab me! I'm not a twink, I'm not meant for grabbing. I'm a lady. This is also why I wish that I could have gotten some sort of basic attack. That one upgrade that gives me, like, knockback on my spin is the closest, but that still doesn't cut it. It just feels so awkward to stand here. Or, like, if there's, like, a helping hand mechanic where I could, like, channel energy into a summon to, like, make them better. Or, like, even directly control a summon. You know, that would kind of be very different than how the game is, but that would also be very cool and feel active. I'm guessing like three cycles of this, of getting all his arms down, so we're around halfway-ish now, I think. Get him! Don't, like, run around to the side, you weirdo. It's there. We can just reach in and grab it. At least there's enough going on that this still feels pretty active so that I'm not literally just sitting there doing nothing for a lot of the fight. Just little bits of it. And Lionel died. Ow. Ow. Gotta be better to hit the arms than the body, right? Otherwise, there wouldn't be a point to having them. There, yeah, we haven't seen Goma yet. Oh, I do not need spider webs. Let's get a slug in here. Ouch, I'm on fire. That would have been a better way to do this final fight slash the whole area after giving up the link echoes to link is like 
make better use of puzzles and stuff with the echoes rather than just being like, hey, pull out your strongest boys and fight. Because that's ultimately just not as interesting and the whole strength of this game is like doing all these little micro puzzles where you figure out ways around stuff. Mine. Mine. I'll take that. Two out of three, please. I guess we're still gonna hit him more. Oh, we're lifting him. What? Oh no, that's my ghost. What are we doing? I'm gonna end up like wasting time here. I don't know what it wants. I can't interact with this. Do I need to like throw a jar at it? What? This is stupid. Oh, grab it with try. Hey, that took too long to figure out. That's stupid. Somehow when I thought reach in and grab it, I didn't think, oh, let's use the literal grabbing power that I have. And now we erase him from existence, right? We're not going to try to do some weird Superman peaceful shit because he's not even like a guy. He's the literal manifestation of the void. And maybe also we should get a couple feet away from him before we assemble the Triforce.
Okay, little guy, goodbye. You were kind of always a bit robotic to begin with, so... I don't know. I'm not necessarily emotionally attached to you. I mean, he kind of grew feelings. But... They didn't, you know, this is not a story-heavy game. It's just a cute game. Paper Mario all over again. The little robots are learning how to love. Goodbye, little fella. It feels all it. Uh, let me try that sentence over. It also doesn't feel as bad because he's not like dying per se. He's just sort of returning to the fold, and they're not doing this whole like like oh no, he's losing his individuality. It's just kind of like yeah, I don't know. That's the order of things, right? Plus, we got a twink. We came out with the best prize of all. Examine the twink. And there's Papa. Is my mouth not tracking? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, do I have a mouth? What the fuck? Do I need to restart my avatar? Has it not been tracking this whole time? That's really weird. Well, I'm gonna be trying to switch games in a minute, so I'll try to fix it then. In the meantime, we can enjoy my ventriloquism act. And that's Echoes of Wisdom. And I guess we're just gonna see people in the land being friends or whatever. That's the hungry girl. She now gets to eat fish, given to her by the fish. 
They're all getting together and doing music. Very cute. Now is the winter of my discontent. Uh, which is to say I'm upset because my mouth tracking isn't working and I also can't fucking log in as Endless. So I don't know how we're going to play as Endless if I can't get in. I was able to get in a little while ago. It said like I was having some network issues, but I was still able. I'll be very upset if I have to change my plans. But I guess if that happens, then we could play some Paper Jam. But I'd rather do what I plan to do. But we'll see. I have credits time while this is going to try to make Zenless work, but I, I've already switched Wi-Fi because we have a, a 2.4 and a 5 and I've... Uh, already restarted my PS5 as well, so I don't know if they're down and it's not my fault. Oh here, services are busy right now, we'll be back soon. That might, So it might be an entire PlayStation thing. Um, and I don't think I still have it downloaded on PC, unfortunately. Although the MiHoYo games are kind of a pain in the ass on PC anyway for streaming. Yeah. Not supposed to be like an update day or anything. It's just too bad that PlayStation's having issues. Let me see what Twitter says. Yeah, and, and other people on Twitter are saying it's having an issue, so that really stinks. Uh, but you know what doesn't stink? This game, this was cute and fun. Glad we played this. Uh, it's mildly unfortunate for just the way I'd schedule things that we only had like an hour left to go. But, you know, since I've been staying up late and playing this till like 2am, there really isn't much I can do about that because I have to go to bed at some point. I hope they make a Zelda maker. Um, I hope indie game devs take this idea and apply it to stuff. I hope Pokemon does this. They won't, but that would be cool if they did. Yeah, I think I do still need to just fully restart VC Face 2. Well, perhaps then I will uh, start becoming prepared for Paper Jam if we're doing that instead of Zenless. I did do my grinding, so I'm ready you know, in all but my mental state, because those games, they do something to me. Big psychic damage is what they do. Unless things resolve in the five minutes that we're sitting here waiting through credits. I normally skip credits. I don't really want to skip these because... Oh, his brother's coming back. See? That was a reason to sit through this. We got closure.
I assume this means Genshin is down too if I were to try to get in there. Not that we really have anything to do in Genshin. 5.1 isn't for like another week or something. I can, it's so weird. I can see it's tracking my jaw movement though because my head like goes when I open my mouth, but my actual mouth isn't moving. So I don't know. I guess that just got like desync or never synced to begin with. Yeah, that says fail to connect to server. I think we're just gonna have to bail on the MiHoYo games for tonight. What's up with Kitty? Oh, we just have the rod frame, sure. Yeah, I, I've spent half the credits waffling about my tech issues, but I, I don't know that I have much more to say about this game that I haven't already. It was a really fun, solid idea. Uh, I love this visual style. Zelda and good. Zelda and good. Zelda in general is good, rather. And I'm looking forward to more Zelda, eventually. And I would just love to see this idea proliferate elsewhere. We can double check real quick that, like, loading my save... I get a star, but that's it. I don't think I need to load the save because I did. I did literally everything. There isn't even like clean up to run around and do. Okay, well, this was delightful. I am going to get a switch over to Paper Jam then. So let me put you guys on a brief all BRB screen uh, with some tunes, and then we'll get back on. Uh, don't go anywhere.